Welcome to part two of episode 009. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link at the top of the description and check out the first half of the video on the Site42 SCP Foundation Fanworks YouTube channel. If you don't know who they are, hit the subscribe button over there. They have some great works on their channel, especially in the area of critique. And when you're done with that video, come back here. Their video will have a link to this one at the very end. Also, if you're coming here from the Site42 Fanworks page, hello, and please hit the subscribe button. Now, on to the rest of the episode. Part 2. What the Draft Does Right Now straight off the top, I'd like to say that the page image, which you're going to see on your screen now on YouTube, explains what a two-dimensional hypotrichoid curve is without me having to rush off to Wikipedia. That is an excellent tactic to demonstrate a complex concept quickly. Don't forget that the page image is going to be the first thing that draws the eye of a reader, especially when it's animated like this one is. And that will be your first impression with the reader. It sets the tone for the rest of the work, so make sure you use it in the right way and make sure it's good. What is the focus of this piece? Well, as I said in the previous section, there is an emotional undercurrent that develops throughout the piece focused on family and a vulture. I did a whole episode on how to write an SCP, but the long and short of it for new subscribers would be that this draft is at its core a descriptive SCP with some emotional elements to anchor it. While it does tend to share a middle ground, both parts are executed competently in a way that draws you into the content. In fact, one could argue that the piece is very good up until it ends, because it builds and builds a sort of narrative momentum towards an eventual goal. One particular bit of foreshadowing I detected originally was that the King Vulture's Latin name in the piece includes the word Papa. And this is right before the piece dives into a father-son relationship as part of the discovery. And when I brought that up, the writer actually said that it wasn't deliberate. But keep an eye out for this kind of foreshadowing anyway, though avoid being too on the nose with it. You want to build on the themes of the piece in every possible way you can, after all. Also, this piece does mystery well. There's enough hints here to draw connections between the familial and the parking elements, but not enough to come to any sort of definitive conclusion. So what lessons can you take from this? Well, the reason why this would survive on the site, even with the problems I outlined in the previous section, involves highly competent writing, mostly solid clinical tone, and a novel original concept. If you know of any story involving performing a ritual to get an open parking spot, you're better read than I am. Now that said, this author isn't looking for good enough so much as good, and they plan to do a number of corrective edits to improve the piece. My biggest piece of advice will be to either continue or pare back the emotional arc of the story so that the focus is more refined on the strange object or the emotional punch. I'll provide a link in the description to the completed and posted article so you can judge yourself how the piece ended up, both in execution and also in success on the site. Part 3. Suggested Reading As part of my suggested reading for today, I'm going to get you links to five of William's top-rated articles on the site. He was kind enough to offer his draft for this episode, so show him a little bit of attention. The first one is, Grant Request for a Replacement Keyboard Because the Caps Lock on this one is Broken, which is rated at plus 208. SCP-3031, Beginning of Wisdom, which is rated at plus 157. SCP-3637, Many Waters Cannot Quench Love, Nor Can the Floods Drown It, at plus 141. SCP-3435, Dinosaurs and Dragons Care Not for Your Politics, at plus 93. SCP-2829, Liposluction, at plus 64. All of those are by Wirelium, obviously, and all are worth your time. Part 4. Credits. Now, first of all, a huge shout out to Site42, SCP Foundation Fanworks, and The Sherm for the collaboration. If you somehow got through this without visiting their channel, go check it out. He does a lot of great SCP-related content. As for me, my name is Christopher Clayton Morris, though you may know me better under the pseudonym Dr. Sumerian. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons 4.0 Attribution Sharealike Unported License. All works from the SCP Wiki used or referenced in this podcast are under a Creative Commons 3.0 Attribution Sharealike Unported License, including the following works. SCP-3637 Many waters cannot quench love, nor can the floods drown it. 
by Wirelium, SCP-3435, Dinosaurs and Dragons Care Not for Your Politics, by Wirelium, SCP-3031, Beginning of Wisdom, by Wirelium, SCP-2829, Liposluction, by Wirelium. Grant request for a replacement keyboard, because the caps lock on this one is broken, by Wirelium. And finally, the central article of this podcast, SCP-3738, Casting Lots, by Wirelium. This podcast contained the following audio works under a variety of licenses. A Human Being by Andy G. Cohen, off the 2016 album Through the Lens, licensed Creative Commons 4.0, Attribution Unported. An Unexpected Hoedown in the Bagging Area by Dr. Turtle, off the 2016 album Flush Your Rolex, licensed Creative Commons 4.0, Attribution Unported. Love Wins by Lee Rosaveri, off the 2015 album of the same name, licensed Creative Commons 4.0, Attribution Unported. Thanks for listening. We need very strong ears to hear ourselves judged frankly, and because there are few who can endure frank criticisms without being stung by it, those who venture to criticize us perform a remarkable act of friendship. For to undertake to wound or offend a man for his own good is to have a healthy love for him. Michel de Montaigne